Mediterranean Sea was center of piracy for many centuries. Though it existed since ancient times in the form of sea peoples, they still continued to play its part even during the most powerful times of mighty empires. It's a long history to talk about, so we will narrow it down and focus on the last millennium. When you hear the word pirates, probably you think of black flag of pirates and all the rest of the stuff you are overly exposed from the Hollywood movies. But most of the piracy is done under support or control of certain states. And this was called privateering. And it involved people from all religions, all ethnicities, sharing a coast to the Mediterranean. And in some cases, countries and individuals from outside were also involved, most notably from UK and Netherlands. Nevertheless, it's believed to be an obscure part of the history. Though it's popularized in various times of periods throughout the past few centuries, there is usually so little to know about it. Most historians agree that there is very little written, because very little happened, in comparison to what played out in the mainland Europe. Perhaps the start of our focus should be at the end of Reconquista, in 1492, as it caused a huge population displacement and it created massive ripple effects in the area. When Spain was reclaiming Andalusia from the Emirate of Grenada, the Emirates sent out distress calls everywhere. Ottoman Empire responded by sending camel rays to relieve the Muslims in Iberia. He could not save the Emirate itself, but he managed to slow down the advance of the Spanish troops by capturing Malaga temporarily, then raiding Balearic Islands Corsica, Pisa, and bombarding Malaga, Elche, and Almeria, damaging them significantly. He also oversaw a good portion of the relocation of Muslims and Jews to the North Africa from Spain. The additional Muslim population in North Africa, with the recent devastation of various important port cities by the Ottomans, boosted the capabilities of Barbary Corsairs, and they accelerated their raiding activities, and they disrupted shipping, causing serious headache for the Spanish. This was endorsed by the Ottomans, which was soon to engulf Algeria and Tunisia, and provide the region with naval force, coastal defense, extra population, admirals and sailors. The Barbary Corsairs were usually from five different origins. These were Turks, which also included Turkified Greeks, Bosniaks and Albanians. Moorish refugees from Spain, also known as Moriscos. Moors, Arabs, and Desert Moors. The name Barbary itself was actually first used to refer to the villages closer to the Sahara Desert than the sea, but the term was generalized over time. The infamous Corsair brothers Oruç, also known as Aruj, and Hayreddin, who both had the nickname Barbarossa, they were literally born into piracy, since their birthplace Mytilene was a haven for pirates. Even before its capture by Ottoman Empire, the island was a base for the pirates, who hailed from Christian lands like Catalonia, Sicily, and Italy. Oruç and Hayreddin exacerbated the piracy activities even further under the circumstances of changing balances in the western Mediterranean. They used Jorba Island as their base, and Oruç did a lot of fortifications and turned it into a powerful corsair stronghold. Aruj captured a Sicilian ship with a crew of 360 Spanish sailors in 1505. Then he went on to capture a papal flagship which was attacking Aruj's ship. Hyret and Barbarossa assaulted and desolated Balearics, Catalonia, Sardinia, Sicily and Valencia. These brought fame and they became superstars in the eyes of Moors. This prompted some security measures to be taken by the Spanish Empire. They set out to capture some main port cities on the African shore. Though the attacks were repulsed several times by Aruj, at the end of 1509, Oran, and in 1510, Tripoli and Bejeya were captured. The Spanish fortified the city's walls and constructed new strongholds on the rocky small islets, which were known as Penyon, of the coast of Africa including the one at the entrance of Algiers port. That's it for the first episode. In the next one we will continue where we left off. Stay tuned.